The countdown is on for the launch of NASA's Artemis 1 mission Saturday afternoon. Weather conditions forecasted to be favorable. With a little guarded uh, optimism, uh, we're, we're set to go this weekend. The launch has a two-hour window beginning at 2.17 local time. We've got a whole host of things that could cause us to not get off any given day, weather, uh, uh, range or technical. Monday's first attempt was scrubbed due to two issues. One of the four engines wasn't cooling down to the proper temperature and there was a crack in the vent valve in the inner tank. Engineers have since repaired that crack and determined that the sensor on the engine was not working properly. Right now, team has really just done a fantastic job getting us out of launch attempt number one, repairing all the issues and getting us into a safe configuration to proceed into a tomorrow's launch attempt. NASA is using a space launch system or SLS rocket to send the uncrewed Orion space capsule on a 37 day mission to orbit the moon. It's all a part of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to establish a human presence on the moon by the end of this decade. We're going back to the moon to land in a place that we've never landed before. And McLean could be one of the astronauts on board when Artemis launches crewed missions. You know, our long term big goal is going to Mars, exploring places that we've never been before. Landing on the South Pole of the Moon is going to test and develop technologies and teams um, that will enable that future mission. And this Artemis 1 mission will fly a total of about 1.3 million miles. Now, if tomorrow's launch is called off for any reason, the next launch attempt will be on Monday. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News at the Kennedy Space Center.